Hello YouTube and welcome back to another J-Rock video. Okay, today we're going to go through the simple practice of sharpening your cylinder blades, okay, through a process called backlapping. Right, this is so important because through your cutting season, you need to keep your blade sharp to get a good cut, all right, and it'll stop things like yellow dead ends on the end of your grass. And let's face it, if you're using a cylinder blade in the first place, you want the best cut you can possibly get. All right, so stay tuned and I'll take you through this process as quick as we can. Now that you strip down the cylinder, we're going to go through the equipment that you need to complete the back lapping. So here, we've got both a manual mower cylinder and also we've got my Suffolk punch. Okay, that is a petrol. Okay, so the tools that we're going to need is grinding paste. I got this from Amazon and that was, I think it was like £2.97. I will stick a link in the description. You need a flathead screwdriver. That's going to go under these tensioning bars, okay, to be able to bring the cylinder closer to the bed knife. The bed knife being at the bottom here, and all it'll do is bring that cylinder down. On a manual, you'll already have these, okay, there'll be some form of notches like this. The way it tests that is you'll just simply stick it back, and the more you lower it, the more it'll get closer to that bed knife. We're going to need this when we start actually beginning the back lap. So we've got the grinding paste, the flathead, you're going to need a 24 mil socket as that will fit down on the sprocket on the side here, like so. You'll need an allen key, that's just to get the cylinder out from the case. And you will also need a drill and that's just to spin uh, the cylinder blade manually. And of course some form of paintbrush and that's just to apply the grinding paste onto the cylinder as we are back lapping what we're going to do now. From here all I'm going to do is apply a little bit of grinding paste like so. Don't need much at all. I'm going to place the drill onto the sprocket and so it rotates clockwise and ensuring that you're, you're careful here just spin slowly and all you're going to do is rub that grinding paste in and you can hear that noise change and that's just the grinding paste starting to work just ensure obviously you keep your fingers away at all times because obviously you've got a spinning blade there so and all you're going to do is you're going to keep on topping up with grinding paste as you go like this <laughs> Right, so I've been doing that for a couple of minutes now. So all I'm going to go do next is you're going to take your flathead and where you can see them tensioners up on either side here. Okay, you're just going to turn them one click clockwise. Like so. Once we've done that, you then know that the cylinder itself has been moved one place down. So the process with the manual cylinder and the self-propelled is exactly the same apart from how the cylinder actually spins. So with the petrol, obviously you're using a 24 mil socket attachment to be able to turn that cylinder. But for the manual, what you actually need to do, I'll show you here, is flip it upside down like so. And remember, you want these blades to turn away from the bed knife. So all I'm gonna do here is with my foot, you'd apply the grinding sit paste exactly the same, and then you just simply kick it away. Like so. so last thing you're gonna do here is you're gonna simply just continue to wash off all that grinding paste try and get as much of it off as possible because if you leave it on when it's mowing all you'll simply do is keep on grinding the blades down so it's important you get all of that off get it nicely cleaned up okay so after you've applied the wd-40 and you've wiped it off just going for your paper test so for this one i'm going to do a four fold and you just put it in there and you just want to check that it's cutting perfectly. 
and safe to say this one here is spot on. Cylinder sharpened, time to test it out. Right, so that's a wrap on the backlapping video. Like I say, it's print, pretty simple. I've tried to do the step-by-steps nice and quick to keep this video short as possible so you can get your tips, get out there and do it for yourself. So just remember the items that you need, I'll stick over here. The Chemico that I got, put that up close to you. I actually got from Amazon, like I said, I think it was about £2.97. Again, screen grab. And the 24mm socket that I got, I got from Screwfix for everyone that's in the UK and um, so and I think that was maybe four or five quid something like that so all pretty simple just make sure you've got them items and it'll take half an hour of your day and the benefits are massively rewarding right please remember to like subscribe and it, that'll do massive help for me and I'll see you in the next video take care